Hello guys, this is Juan Pablo. So today I'm going to show you our team building a calculator for Australia. This calculator is a really useful tool if you want to design timber beam columns connections. And this calculator can be used to determine the appropriate nail size and spacing for securely connecting timber beams to columns. And we use this calculator for retrofit projects. It can be really useful for evaluating existing timber connections and making recommendations for reinforcements or upgrades. To start creating our calculator, we go to our project. We click here to add new calculation. We go to Australia and we search for nail, timber nail, and we click here. After finish loading, we can start putting our input to our calculator. In this section, in key properties, we can see a diagram of our nails and we can start uh, setting our joint type and nail position. So in this section, we have type one and type two. Type one joint, this is when nails are holding part together to receive side weight forces like shear loads and the nails can go into the side or the end of the wood pieces. In type two joint, this is when nails are holding part to resist pulling forces like also actual loads. And again, the nails can go into the side or the end of the wood. The good thing about our calculator, if you have doubts about any widget, you can click on it and you will see an explanation of what the widget does and the reference that we use. After finishing this, we can change the number of nails in the X direction. So for example, here I can put four and we can see our diagram updates automatically. Here we can change the spacing of nails in X direction. We put 30, we can change the number of nails in Y direction. For example, here I'm going to put five and we can also change the diameter of our nails. So I'm going to make it bigger. One really cool thing about our calculators is our member selector. Here I can select our support member. We have an extend library for you to choose. And here we have some filters that will help you to find your member easier. So for example, I'm going to put hardwood and I'm going to choose this one. And the same for the supporting member. So here in this column, we have our traffic light checks. This is something that I'm going to explain later in this video. So for example, for this video, I'm going to choose this one. We can ch change the depth of nail penetration. We can change the building category for application of structural joints. I'm going to leave it in category one house and we can change the strengthening type for type one joints. I'm going to leave it in otherwise. After we finish setting all of this, we can start putting our loads here in the section below that is called applied loads. We can put our loads in our nail joint here in this table. We can change the label of our loads. For example, I'm going to leave it like the L for dead loads. Here we can put our load type. Here we can put our shield load. This is in kilonewtons. And here we can put our in-plane moment load. In this widget below, in impose action result from, you can choose to find the load direction factor K1 for different load types in this load combination. This applies to type 1 joints with imposed loads only. If there are multiple lead loads, pick the one with the biggest impact, so the highest on the list. And finally, we can select the character of our imposed load. If we go down to this section, we can select the controlling joint group. And we can see the characteristic capacity of our controlling joint group. And if we go down and we expand this section, we can see the results of our load combinations. 
We can also see another characteristic of our calculator. We can see the type 1 joint analysis for direct shear and type 1 joint analysis for in-plane moment. We can also here in the section, we can leave comments for us to remember. Another cool thing about our calculators is that you can expand them to see more details about them. So if you go here, you can see that we usually have our calculators in a standard view. But if you click here in detail view, you will see that more widgets are going to appear. So you will have more details about our calculations. Finally, if we go up in this summary section, we can see the direct share demand of the nodal connection, the direct share capacity, the moment demand, and the moment capacity. And here we can see our traffic light checks. So what this means is that we are comparing our demand with our capacity. Here we are seeing that our demand is exceeding our capacity. In the context of clear calls, the traffic lights serve as a visual indicators for the safety status of your structural calculations. So if you're seeing green, your design is within the safe limits. If you're seeing yellow, it's caution, some stress, but not critical. And if you're seeing red, is at the end your zone, you have to make some changes to your calculations. So here in this example, we are seeing that we are exceeding our shear capacity. So we need to do some adjustments. And here's when the member selector comes in handy. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to change this controlling group to J1. But here in the member selector, we can see, for example, if we select this member, the calculator is going to fail. This will help you to save time because if you go to the member selector, you already know that these members are going to fail. This will be all for today. Thank you so much. Bye bye.